how to balance Na plus Cl2 yields NaCl. Step one, let's count the atoms. I'll draw a table between reactants and products, and then we'll count the atoms. So for Na, I have one, and over on this side, I have one as well. For Cl, I have two, and over here, I only have one. The first thing I think I'll do is I'll put a two in front of the NaCl, and that means I'll have one times two, I'll have two Na's, and one times the two here, that means I'll have two Cl's. So now I have two Cl's on both sides of the equation. Going back over to the reactants, I can see that if I have one times two, that'll give me two. So let's put a two as our coefficient in front of the Na. So one times two, that equals two, and we still have two Cl's. We can see that we have two times the one, so we have two Na's, and then two times one there, we have two Na's, the Na's are balanced, and we have two Cl's here, two here, two times the one, that gives us two. So the number and type of atoms on both sides of the equation are balanced, they're the same. We're done with this equation. This is Dr. B, balancing Na plus Cl2 yields NaCl.